Hey, this is Brant from TradeGuild.net. It is the 6th of October, and I'm just going to give you a, a quick rundown of what's going on in the market. As you can see today, we had uh, one of these candles with a long wick, which is not really a good sign, especially considering what's going on here with this big volume. We've had uh, a rally that's had dissipating volume, this what I call, continue to call a bear market rally, despite the fact that we had the golden cross here of the 50-day moving average above the 200 and we figured that we'd see a bounce over here that's why I did a video the other day scanning for the shorts so what the idea was was to get ready for uh, this bounce and get some shorts on your list so um, besides this small body candle as you can see this negative divergence in MACD is not good this volume all the way down here how it's uh, descending through this rally it should ascend with, with the rally descending not good big volume picking up on uh, the move down to the 50-day moving average if we look at what happened in the market today we could say yeah today was a decent day but that's not a great looking candle by any means so we're going to get into our indicator um, 3c and first we're going to look at the SPY a daily version first so basically what I want to show you about this indicator we just got to zoom in a little bit is what's going on here this indicator um, basically should follow price as you can see it's done throughout this entire period if price moves higher the indicator should move higher if price moves lower the indicator should move lower make similar lows and highs so we had this final high over here and now we've got this bounce attempt it hasn't quite made it up to this level but this is nowhere near being up here and this guy down here actually went into a negative leading divergence and made a new low for um, you know over two months so that's definitely not a very good looking uh, development if we look at the hourly chart take a little closer look at it again like I said the indicator should be making new highs with price making new highs which we see up to this point then we see something on this hourly chart uh, that's close to a double top but the indicator is nowhere near where it was back over here it's fallen quite a bit and if we take a look at the 30 minute chart what we're going to see is the same thing happened over here you can see that instead of this making a similar high to over here it's gone much lower another interesting development is that the indicator actually uh, predicted this bounce in that we're making lows here we should be making lower lows over here and at the very low we actually have this guy moving up so it was moving not in, quite into a leading divergence but it was pointing something like this was I would say probable to happen that we were going to get this kind of a bounce and as we look at some of the other um, 3C indicators we're going to see more of that let me switch over to one more we're going to look at the hourly chart this hasn't looked good for a while over here uh, we did make the higher high over here here again is that double top and again just not even close as we move to half an hour we're seeing the same thing and that's why I like to check as many time frames as possible you can see it's actually moving down a price is moving up and we get confirmation again of that bounce because we have a low here we have a lower low the indicator should have didn't it should have done the same thing it should have made a lower low down there but instead it moved up this was giving us an indication that we may see a bounce and that's what we got we'll also see that on one other time frame real quick and that's a 15 minute time frame over here again fails to make a higher high over here and when we have that almost double top going across here our indicators moving down and this really points out that positive divergence here's our low right that corresponds with price here price is moving down lower this indicator should have been moving down lower instead it was uh, showing signs of accumulation short-term accumulation right here as the indicator was moving up price is moving down it's called a positive divergence and we got our bounce out of that and we're gonna look at a daily chart of the queues and you can see the carnage here the mess here indicator again should be making higher highs of price see as price is going up instead indicator is going down 
most likely what is happening here is uh, the stronger hands are selling to the weaker hands and a lot of people are going to be trapped up here and that's um, why I love this indicator and why I look at so many different time frames with it 30 minute time frame shows us the same thing that we saw before um, a negative divergence here at the top that corresponds with that S&P top even though uh, we're actually looking at the Q's we look at the 15 minute time frame and we get the exact same information from a totally different index we get the top right with the negative divergence over here and then we get the positive divergence see we have a low in price here we have a lower low over here but the indicators moved up showing that there's accumulation occurring in this area over here if we really want to get into uh, the nitpicky stuff or for day traders or whatever we can look at this one minute chart we see um, price moving up this is not really um, showing us too much but what really is important is when price is making a, a real high here and this has failed to move up so that's telling us one thing we don't want to be chasing stocks at this point we don't want to be buying when we do see that this decline has occurred and this indicator has moved up through the entire thing we can be pretty reasonably assured of a bounce what we see right now is that it's failing to keep up with the highs that are being made we'll have to see tomorrow if this indicator does go up and make a new high or if it goes down and makes a new low and from what we saw in the sp uh the spy and what we're seeing in the nasdaq that there's going to be some serious resistance right in this level here's an hourly chart still of the cues this is a um, just a different version of 3C, same thing, but we, again, we see this top over here and negative divergence through the whole thing. The 15-minute uh, time frames, then, of course, um, we're seeing more subtle stuff, like we're seeing you know, lower lows over here in price and indicator moving up. So this is telling us you know, somewhere in here we're looking at a bounce. Looking at the hourly time frame, it's just a very clear top over in this area. We're going to take a quick look at XLF and just wrap this video up. And in XLF, we're going to look at the 30 minute chart here. And what we're seeing, again, is that same similar top that we saw in the Qs in the NASDAQ. The negative divergence there, the positive divergence occurring over here on that 30 minute chart. If we go a little bit more detail, we look into the 15 minute chart. Again, we're seeing the same thing. We're seeing the negative divergence at this, what I'm going to call a double top, but it's a very small double top, and a very positive divergence over here as price makes lower lows, and this guy's climbing. And right now, we're not seeing, uh, it's not telling us anything. It's pretty much in gear with price at this point. If we were to uh, maybe look at a five-minute chart, we get a little more information. And on that five-minute chart, we're looking at a, a relative area over here and over here. This is not quite as high. We see a pullback off that. And again, if you're a day trader, you know this indicator works great for day traders. You see higher highs being made, so we're holding on to our money at this point. We make an even higher high, but this thing is lower or low. This is, to me, time to get out. I would definitely use this area over here to get out of that particular position. And that's on a one minute time frame for anybody who wants to day trade. Back to the SPY real quick volume should rise during a healthy rally that's not what we're seeing here macd should rise during a healthy rally that's not what we're seeing here and if you're wondering why your macd looks different than mine look at my settings uh 26.52.9 okay i use a little bit different settings and we see this big red volume over here when it pulled back to that 50 so i would look for a break below that 50 maybe some support in this 200 once this 200 breaks, we're probably going to be looking easily at testing the lows in this area. More likely, we'll be testing the lows in this area, and we'll see what's going to happen from there. Uh, I don't think that smart money is going to come off the sidelines until this low is tested. So that's my opinion, and um, that's just a real quick take on the market.